you know, do you ever ask yourself the following question? You look at little babies, right? Little babies, they're so cute. You know, and you feed a little baby applesauce. And what do you do? You take a little spoon, you dip in the applesauce. You put it in the little baby's mouth. And they spits up all over you, right? And the applesauce goes in your face and it goes in your shirt. And it's all over the place, right? And what do we all do? We all laugh. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, baby, it is. It's so cute. You do it again. Everyone's laughing, and the baby's laughing, and you're laughing, and having a great time. I have noticed that when a person is in a nursing home, you have to do the exact same thing. You take a little applesauce. You have to dip it into the jar. You got to put it in their mouth, and they spit it up all over themselves and all over you. And I'll tell you something. It's not cute. And you know what? It's even disgusting. So I've had a question one time. I was thinking, you know, why couldn't God make it that just like a baby has so much chen, a baby has so much charm, and we're not bothered by these things by a baby, we find it so adorable, why couldn't God make it that at the end of a person's life, a person gets that chen again, gets that charm? And we, we you know, and when the, little, when the old man at 95 spits up all over you, you laugh and it's so cute. How come God created a world where you don't see it as cute anymore. We see it, we're disgusted by it. So I had a thought. And I was thinking that it's probably the greatest kindness that God can do, which is to cause people to be disgusted when their grandparents or mothers and fathers spit up all over them when they get old. It's a, it's a kindness. You know what the kindness is? As a person moves his life toward the end of existence in this reality, the greatest kindness God could do for them is to make them realize that their bodies can't help them anymore. Usually their bodies are very much, you know, they're not in control of their bodies. The money that they had in the bank really can't bring them much anymore. And even their children, who I'll rely on my children, you know, my children will take care of me. Here the children are a little bit disgusted with them. The greatest kindness God can do for somebody at that point in their life is to make that person realize it's all about me. Don't try to rely on anybody except me. Don't think you're going to rely on your body anymore. It's not there. Don't think you're relying on your money. Don't rely on your children. It's all about you and me. It's all me. It's all you. That's all. At that point, a person has to look up to the Almighty. has to look up to God and basically say, God, you know, it's just you are everything. I just need you. Without you, I have nothing. I have to have a relationship with you. Without you, there's nothing. I have nothing. I need you. If a person can do that at the end of their life, imagine what that does to build that relationship with God, a relationship that a person is going to take with them forever. So in fact, the aging process, which we look at and we think, Ay, you know, why God, why are you bringing this on this person? It's really a tremendous kindness in helping a person achieve the purpose of this world which is to forge a relationship with the Almighty that we're going to take with us forever. Do you hear how it works? If the purpose of this world is just comfort, you're right. It's uncomfortable. But if the purpose of this world is to create a relationship, it's really purposeful.